Hi everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Dingo channel. My name is Ali and this is Elliot. Hey there. And today we're going to show you around the Dingo Discovery Sanctuary and Research Center. The sanctuary is run by the Australian Dingo Foundation. It's located approximately 50 minutes from the Melbourne CBD in Victoria, Australia. Lynn Watson and her late husband Peter founded the sanctuary with three main goals. Non-invasive research, education and preservation of pure dingo. Lynn Watson has loved dingoes her entire life and the sanctuary has been run for around 20 years. The dingo sanctuary is approximately 40 acres in size, surrounded by forest and is perfect for our dingoes. This is the largest dingo sanctuary in the world of pure and entire dingoes. Most of what's known about dingoes has come from Lynn and Peter's incredible work and the work that Lynn continues to do and the knowledge that she continues to share. Welcome to the sanctuary. The first thing that we do is of course feed the dingoes brekkie. We have 35 adult dingoes and eight cubs here at the moment. So it is a lot of food to dish out. We feed our dingoes a special diet because dingoes, unlike our domestic dogs, have trouble digesting things like grain, plant matter, and fats. The dingoes are very lucky to be sponsored by Taste of the Wild. It is an excellent food brand for them because it is grain free. So let's get to feeding. Next thing is exercise. You may have noticed already that our dingoes here are in pairs. This is because they are monogamous. The dingoes choose how long they stay out for. We let them back in when they're waiting at the gate. New volunteers are usually surprised that dingoes only really want to be out for around 20 minutes because they do sleep for the rest of the day, just like the lion. Whilst the dingoes are out, we clean up. So dingoes are den animals. That's why it's very important here that we have a dirt floor for each and every one of them that allows them to dig. Now that we've finished cleaning, we can go and spend some time with the dingoes in the yards. Coming to the end of the day, we have to make sure all of our chores are done, including sweeping pathways, cleaning the dishes, and clearing the paddocks. Over the warmer months, and when coronavirus restrictions aren't in play, we often have private tours around 11am, which we have to also work into our day. The private tours are really fun, you get one-on-one -on -one time with dingoes, and if you are interested, we'll leave a link below. Over winter, when we have cub spawn, we also have cuddler cub sessions on weekends. Great, so we're coming to the end of this video now. We hope that you guys have enjoyed learning what it's like to actually volunteer with dingoes. If you want to find out more about the Dingo Discovery Sanctuary and Research Centre, check out the links below. We will leave their website there. This is an entirely volunteer-run sanctuary, so everyone from top to bottom actually doesn't get paid. So all of us are just here because we love what we do and because we care so much about dingoes. So if you do want to donate, we'll leave that link below as well. Any of the money that you guys raise will go directly towards dingoes. Thanks so much for watching everyone, take care.